Okay, let's take a peek. Ah, the back hurts so bad today. And there she is laying there. She's building. She is building nicely. Oh, I can't wait. It'll be quite interesting to see. Easy babies. Well, the eggs, anyway. I'd be happy just to have the eggs. This one here. I'm waiting for it to go into shit again. But, I don't know. I'm going to try to pair her again, too. She's been refusing food and refusing pairings, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. She's looking pretty sick, though, through there. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, uh, being, uh, how can I put it? cheap with your animals people cut corners they'll do anything to save a dollar now i can understand saving a dollar but when it comes to things like your bedding and your things like that yeah no i don't know you can't go cheap this stuff is cheap as you can get it doesn't cost as much as most of the other stuff and lasts twice as long with the with with um how far you go with it so i don't know People go uh, <clears throat> and buy uh, some of that other bedding because they like to just spot clean. They think it saves them money by spot cleaning, but their animals are getting, it's not good for the animals. You know, you got the, uh, um, my, 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 my saying I always say, the animal didn't ask for you to care for it you ask to care for the animal so person shouldn't cut corners at all with anything so <clears throat> to cost you a little bit of money for bedding or whatever put it out just put the money out it's not going to kill you unless of course you're trying to cut corners uh, that i don't know i don't know hold on guys let's look over here and a few reptiles over here Roll my little card all the way so we can pop in the look. Now, see, this is another thing I like about the liners. Like this girl here, she's a shy one. Well, she's shy. She doesn't like. To, she has little tendency not to eat. But you see, it's got the covered sides, and then you push, push, fold the paper up in the front, and it's like a permanent hide for her. You know, it's really nice. She loves it. This one here. This one here is probably under the paper still. Still under the paper. But she looks like she's building too, if you look. She's looking really good. This one here is the one I dread opening because little snappy little thing. <laughs> so I always grab my hook. Just for extra precaution. You see, there she is. No, no. And you just touch her in the head and she usually goes back. But we're not gonna. She's not gonna get me. I'm not in the mood to get bit right now. Anyway, this is gonna be a shorter vlog. You know, my back hurts really good today. So. Anyway, what I have planned is I think we're going to go next door. Not next door, but you know, the room back there. And uh, check out a few tarantulas and stuff. See how well it goes. Um, other than that, I think it's going to be going good. So we'll be back. Oh, I see you're going to have a hard time seeing them. Right over here. There he is. Where's she? She is looking beautiful. Brachiopelma baggins. Stunningly beautiful. If I move, she runs so fast you can't see her run down a hole right over there. And then we got the other ones moving right over here. It's right in there walking around.
right down in the hole. This one was out earlier, but I don't know where it went now. I'm sure it's over in this hole. Right there it is. Let me show you it's right. There. Can you see it? <laughs> this one was just walking around. So we'll put this one back up here. Get the label facing out. Oops, sorry guys, you guys are not in focus real well. There we go. Let's set that one there. Let's pop down and look at this one. This one's always down underneath. There it is. Do you see it? There's one of its legs. <laughs> Sorry for the moving camera, but Trying to get you guys some good shots today is what I want to do. Here look. Here's the other one out and about. Because once I start moving the containers, they really like to hide. This one here is the um, Hapalopus species Columbia Large. This one here, I don't know if you can see anything in this one. It was out earlier. But we'll look. Is that a molt? It surely looks like a molt, huh? Yes, it is a molt. So that means this girl is bigger yet. We're gonna go look for this molt here in a minute. We're gonna look at this molt. That's what we are going to do. Let's look at this one here. Is this one in here anywhere? This one go. There it is. This one's right here. Right Ooh, there you go. But anyway. I'm trying not to disturb this one here. She is so cool. Or he. Whatever it is. Anyway, guys, hold on. Let me pause this for a minute. And then we're going to dig this molt out of here. Hold on. First off, I want to show you the girl after, before we go in there and take her up. She has gotten, I love their color when they first, when they're freshly molted. Look at how beautiful that thing is. Do you see it? She's out and about. She's looking really good. All right, guys, hold on. Uh, let me get you back in a little. Oh, yes, hold on. Hold on. I gotta... Hold on. Hey, okay, guys, I'm having to get it out. And there it is. That is so cool. One leg came off the molt, but other than that, it's all intact. And then before we go, one more time. Look at this beautiful girl right here. Look 
There we go, it's old malt. Alright guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, help a fellow person in need, especially if they're hurt, especially if you can do it, I mean. And uh, thank you for joining in and watching my video. Please share and uh, peace out, people. Oh, let me do it this way. Peace.